I'm Dr. Drew Warnick and I'm the Surgical Director of All Sports Medicine at All Children's Hospital. I'm a pediatric orthopedic surgeon with special training in pediatric and adolescent sports medicine. In this video, we are going to discuss shoulder dislocation and instability. The shoulder is the body's most mobile joint. It is able to turn in many directions. This greater range of motion makes the shoulder an easy joint to dislocate. The shoulder is a ball and socket joint that acts much like a golf ball sitting on top of a tee. Strong connective tissue called the shoulder capsule is the ligament system that keeps the shoulder attached and centered in the socket. A shoulder dislocation occurs when the head of the humerus, the ball, is forced out of the glenoid or the socket. When the head of the humerus dislocates, the ligaments in front of the shoulder are often injured and torn. If your shoulder has dislocated, you may continue to have recurrent dislocations. You may have a feeling that the shoulder is unstable or giving out. Common symptoms of shoulder instability include pain, repeated shoulder dislocations, multiple instances of the shoulder giving out, and a persistent sensation that the shoulder feels loose. At All Sports Medicine, we will examine your shoulder with specific tests to help assess instability of the shoulder. X-rays and magnetic resonance imaging may be needed to help identify injuries to the ligaments surrounding your shoulder joint. At All Sports Medicine, we will develop a treatment plan to relieve your symptoms. Shoulder instability is often treated with physical therapy and activity modification. Physical therapy is important to increase shoulder control and strengthen the shoulder muscles to increase stability of the joint. You may also be instructed to avoid activities that aggravate your symptoms. If these options do not relieve the pain and instability, surgery may be needed. In young athletes, arthroscopic surgery is often necessary to repair or tighten the torn or stretched ligaments that help hold the joint in place. At All Sports Medicine, we use cutting edge techniques. With a tiny camera, we look inside the shoulder and repair the torn ligaments with special instruments. After surgery, your shoulder will be immobilized in a sling and exercises to rehabilitate the shoulder will be started. Return to full activity is expected in four to six months. And remember, stay healthy, play safely, but most importantly, have fun.